guys, so this is problem 27 on uh, chapter 3. And in this problem, we have an 18 volt um, independent voltage supply connected in parallel with a 2K and a 6K, and um, another parallel branch with a 9K in series with a 3K. And in part A, we want to find Vx, which is the this voltage. So if you put your own meter from here to here, you stick the two probes here. What would you read? Okay, and in part B, uh, in part B, we want to replace this with a general voltage source and find the uh, Vx. Uh, so Vx will be in terms of a general voltage source. So the way to solve this is in part A, you're going to use either voltage, voltage division or current division. Um, just to give you a hint, voltage division is a lot easier, but you can use both. Um, it doesn't matter, you'll get the same answer. And you can either compare it with the voltage up here or the voltage down here. What you can't do is you can't do compare these two. So, and the, whatever the voltage drop you get from here, the Vx will be this point minus this point. Okay, so that's part A. In part B, you do the exact same thing, but you're going to do the algebra and come up with an answer. Vs is a function of, uh, Vx is a function of Vs, and it's going to be a proportion of that. Okay, pause the video, try it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and solve this. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter whether you take a voltage drop across here or across here. You just have to be consistent. The 18 voltage drop um, source here gives you your sign convention. So the voltage will drop like this, plus, minus, plus, minus. This will become important in each, and I'll show you how, why. Plus, minus, plus, minus. So we do voltage division. Hold on. So let's find the voltage drop across. First, I'm going to start actually from the bottom half. Okay, so I'm going to start over here and find this voltage drop right here. And that's going to be, we use voltage division. So voltage, voltage division says that the voltage drop here is proportional to this series connected uh, resistors. So it's going to be 6 times 6K over 6 plus 2K. 6K plus 2K, so that's 6 eighths. Um, so we go... Uh, shoot, and of course my battery's gone. I did do the math ahead of time. I'm sure you all know how to use your TI-89s, so that's not very important. Anyway, so we have here, this will give you 13.5. And then over here, you do the same math, you're going to go, instead of, you're going to divide the 18 volts. Remember, you have 18 here. It's a parallel connected to here, so total of 18 volts will drop here. Total of 18 volts will drop here. Therefore, the voltage drop across here is proportional, so it's going to be 3 over 9 plus 3. Um, you can put a K in there. It doesn't matter. It's a proportion, so it ends up uh, working out to be a fraction that's the same. Whether you use 3K over 12K or 3 over 12, you still end up with 1 fourth which is 4.5. So 4.5 volts will drop there, and 4.5 volts will drop here. Now, so the Vx then is going to be 13. Vx will be 13.5 minus 4.5, which gives me 9 volts. And that's the answer to part 1. It's a little trickier if you go on the upper half. So let's work out the upper half because we have to observe the passive sign convention here because the, there's a directionality. The sign, the plus here is intentional. So it's telling you, uh, it's giving you information on how to uh, calculate the voltage drops. So here, let's calculate the number first. So we have, so this Vx, right? Is, well, this voltage drop across the 2K, so V sub 2K will be 18 volts and proportional again, 2K over 6 plus 2, right? And that should give you 4.5 volts. We'll drop there. And then over here, you do the same thing. 
This is going to be 9k over 9 plus 3k, which is 12, and that will give you 13.5. Now, the way you calculate Vx, if you were to have compared these, right, like that, is in this case, you have to really pay attention to the sign. So, Vx. The diagram tells us this is the plus direction. So, plus what? Plus, negative, plus. We're going in this direction, negative 4.5 volts. Right? And now, we're going to minus what? Minus what? minus negative, because we're going in this direction, right? Minus negative 13.5 volts. So this gives me negative 4.5 volts plus 13.5 volts, which is 9 volts. Same answer, but a little trickier because of the passive sign convention and because there's directionality to the way the voltage is drawn. But Anyway, so the answer to part 1 is, uh, part A, is 9 volts. Part B is basically, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to replace this with a generic B sub S. Okay, so just calculate it through. I'm going to work with this one going down because it's easier. So Vx is going to be this voltage drop, which is going to be... Um, 6 eighths of Vs minus over here we have um, 3 over 9 which is 1 third or 3 twelfths excuse me 3 twelfths of Vs okay so factor out the Vs 6 eighths minus 3 twelfths and that should give you one half. To see, this is, uh, yeah, so this will be one half Vs. So part B is going to be Vx is 0 0.5 Vs. And that's the answer to part 227.